We're moving the ballast tape around to see if the center of mass of the thing will give us a level uh, hovering position, which it should. Is it taking off on you? Yep. Huh. Oh, that's pretty it close. Keeps on. Well, yeah, a little. Far, how far I am to the front, though. Yeah, you're way off. You're certainly not through the center line. Right. Close. Needs to go <laughs> a little bit further down the white stripe. Or maybe where the red. Yeah, right there. On you. Nope. Went too far. Too far. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me get a little closer in on that. There it is, old glory on Veterans Day, and we're flying it high. <laughs> See, I, I think what's happening is that these things are air intakes, uh -huh. and so that's, that's why it's floating that way. Okay. That's what I'm trying to. Oops. Maybe, maybe move back a little bit. Maybe what I can do is. Yeah, yeah. And we are recording. We move slightly to allow for the air currents. <laughs> it needs to come. It's actually doing pretty good. It is doing pretty good. See, that's the thing is that that must be sucking in, or there's a current coming from your way. That's. Oh, it's adjusting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This ballast tape is fairly well off the center line if you run the top of the dome down to the bottom of the other dome. But hey, do you want me to turn it that way? Yeah, that's good. That, is, that shows it quite well. He's got the disc, you know, face on toward me now, and you can see how far off it is. I think I was, uh, there must be. It's not, looks like it's not filling up evenly, obviously. We've got good pressure. Yeah. Certainly appears to be. Hang on. It's like still... Is it still leaning? It's still trying to flip up. Yeah. I'm going to try to... Up. See, so it's tilting up, so that means it's still got to be further out. Yeah. What about there? It's right there. Nope. Too far? Too far. Pretty good. That's almost exactly yeah. what we want. Yeah. Well, that's weird that it's at the end. Yeah, it didn't really fold out into a true true disc. Right. You think it's actually you now the point it might be a little bit hot you know, I can't tell whether it's these guys pulling up on it. Or if it's just truly more buoyant than 4.46. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's going up on you? Yeah. If it's more buoyant than 4.46, yeah, it's, it's definitely not more, much. It's not more buoyant than 5.46. No, not at all. Yeah. Uh, maybe 5 at yeah. best. Right. Well, there it is. There it is. Cool. Well, well say thank you, Charlie, for your yeah. kind attention. Thank you, Kevin, very much. All Thank right. Folks. That's all right. We've decided to go ahead and patch and fill this second disc anyway, just to see if the it gets the same ring deformity that we saw in the stars and stripes version, where there's kind of a, a little loop as the thing inflates, and see if that holds true here as well. <laughs> Just 
obviously going to have the gas accumulated at the top. The disc, if you made it larger, you'd like to try and make it into a vehicle or something. One of the configurations may well be this vertical orientation, uh, I call it the sunflower arrangement for the sunfish, where it's like a nice, flat, vertically flat fish, you know, kind of the opposite of the flounder. Because you can ballast down to the bottom, it'll hold that much easier than it'll hold uh, the ballast in the disc. I was thinking like for that thing it's 4.4, take 4.4 milliliters of water and drop it through the tube and it'll be a water ballast inside the disc. Might or might not off a level with it. Oh, no, no. 
I didn't mean that. I mean, I didn't mean that. No, no, no. I mean, I meant the uh, thing that we did before. That's right there. Uh, oh, this, yeah. this, yeah. okay. Check this out. No hands. Yeah. 